halftime report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports halftime report. It was the running back, Chuba Hubbard, who put together a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Out comes the offense from Washington to begin the third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Get this drive started. First and ten. Option play. Here's a give to Eckler. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Second and eight. This is hauled in by McLaurin. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. We hear about basketball on grass so much. So much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. As a play caller, Kate, I would always be a little cautious of a first down draw. I like it better when that defense is anticipating pass. Well, they were only anticipating getting the backfield and making that running back feel the pain. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing now, Daniels. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40 yard line. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Here's Daniels. Throw complete to Eckler. And he'll get them enough for a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First down, ball at the 36. Daniels back to throw. He finds Brown, right side. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Trying the inside handoff to Eckler. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stuffed right at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Play fake here. Daniels. Escapes the pocket. He's going to keep it this time. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. 
You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide of practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Third and a lone yard coming up. Now Daniels to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. A gain of three, and now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Eckler running dead ahead. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Give him a couple on the run, and they'll need the same here. Third and goal at the two. Well, you're getting a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. Third and goal, Eckler. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Commanders take the lead right away in half number two. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. York now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Kick this one away. Returning it from the four. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Panthers are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Rush coming for Young. It's caught. That's Thielen. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 28 out of that play. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Young on first and ten. Made the throw as he was getting hit, Brock, and it's incomplete. He was looking Xavier the gets way there. And we'll see what they do here on second down. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. A second down throw for Young. Throw complete to Thielen. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, 
You've earned nothing. Here they come. This is third and five. Motioning the tight end left. Looking to throw here on third. He has the first over the middle. And he's able to get this down to the 36. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. First down, ball at the 36. Shotgun snap now to Young. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. He had to balance, focus in on the catch, keeping those feet in balance. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, Young. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Timing is everything in life. It timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Play action now. Young. Throw right side, and that one's hauled in. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. They send a tight end in motion. Hubbard trying this up the gun. And he gets up for a gain of about four. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Second and six coming up here. He's got it on the bootleg. And he sails that one over the end zone. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Young working from the gun. And he let his man too much there, Brock. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. Staring at fourth down now. The Panthers electing to go with Eddie Pinheiro for the field goal try. A very short kick here from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. Listen, all he could do is make the kicks he's called out there to make. They need extra points from him, but for now, he's able to handle his third field goal of the game and just inch them a little bit closer. Things trim back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. Return coming from the six. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Commanders and running back Austin Eckler headed back to the field. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they can really use some more points on this drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Now the shotgun give to Eckler. 
Jukes one defender. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Daniels on first down. Into traffic, complete! And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion. They can be very effective when you got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for man coverage. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Daniels. He's taken down. The Panthers rush gets home. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. You got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. He's trying to lay it in deep along the right side. He's got it. Oh, what body control to stay in and get the two feet down. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. You know, Kim, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. They have themselves another first and ten. Working inside the red zone. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that'll bring up second down. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. Sending a receiver left. It's a sweep. He pops the pass forward. And he'll push them down to the six-yard line. Give him four yards, but no more. It's going to be third down. Well, this offense is trying to keep the defense off the balance down here in the red zone. Mixing and receiver runs with everything else they love to do. And the best part is, it's working. He gets them several yards on that play. Daniels throwing on third. And he will score. It's a one. Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. York now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Returns looking good so far. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. The Panther offense headed out to the field. All their scoring has kept them close, but they still find themselves trailing by just a little in this third quarter. It's a new 
set of downs for him at the 32. They'll send their tight end right. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. To the air on first down, Young. Thielen's got it, complete. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. It's a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. They run it with Hubbard. And a little space is all he needed to reach that 35-yard line. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. From the 35 on second down. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Young throwing here. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And the commanders pick this one up. He takes the fumble back for six. That was awesome. The return became a question of, does he have enough steam to make it back before someone runs him down? <laughs> that is the most sprinting we're going to see him do on a football field. Maybe his whole life. That distance, a whole lot more than the few yards he's usually running towards quarterback in the pocket. But he had enough to reach that goal line. You're darn right he did. He could sense it, and he wanted it. York now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. fumbling that away, but they're going to get it right back with this kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Panthers and Chuba Hubbard ready to begin another drive. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Back to throw, here's Young. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options, and well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 34. Connects with Johnson. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. 
So we hit the end of the third quarter. The Panthers have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. New set of downs for him from the 46. Receiver in motion going left. Here's Young on first and 10. Lee gets got it. And they make the tackle at the 38. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. New set of downs for him at the 38. Sticking to the air, it's Young. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Roughing the passer, defense. Always a point of emphasis, right? Protecting the quarterbacks, and that play is going to draw the flag every time. Roughing the passer on that last play, and that's always going to lead to an automatic first down. El Motion Johnson right. Young on first and ten. Connection made to Tremble. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. Give him about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage. At the combine because there's nobody defending you nobody wants to hit you but that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch has it in close and he's gonna score touchdown carolina the panthers can make it a one score game as they trim the lead deontay johnson with the touchdown his second scoring catch of the game no hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays that have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Now a point after to bring it back within one score. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Returning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And you know this firsthand, partner. You get above that 300 mark, you and your offense are going to have plenty of highlights to choose from by this point in the game. We're getting a look at some of them now. You just got to marvel at how well he's played the quarterback position here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first and some room to spare. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shotgun snap to Daniels. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate, they doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction with how well the defense had that one covered. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. 
Now Daniels off the play action. Rolling down to his left. He's running with it. He gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. They'll throw on third and long. Forced out to his right. Oh, he's gonna run for it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. On first down, here's Eckler. And they stop him after a good run that takes him down inside the 40. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. This is Eckler on second. Duke the defender. That's a pickup of nine. And the commanders will have a first. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano a mano and stop this guy. you got to have the cavalry to come out. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to run right through you. On first down, here's Daniels. Cut near the goal line. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Trying to run in, Eckler. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. Motion man sent left. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he's tackled for no gain. It looked like they had it, but nope, no gain, and now they're just inches short for third down. We call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense, well, it kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. Daniels, third and goal. And he will score, it's a Washington touchdown! The Commanders go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. You can't blame them for biting on that play action, Brock. Down at the one-yard line, you're expecting it to be a run, which made that pass play the perfect call. Show those defenders what they want to see, what they're expecting to see, so when they give them that good old run fake and pull it back, well, it is touchdown offense. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. Carolina about set to go once again offensively. They just witnessed maybe the most impressive drive we've seen all game, Brock, and now they get a chance to answer with one of their own. Got 
First down from the 31. They bring Thielen in motion right. Shotgun snap now to Young. He's on the move. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Here's Hubbard. And he'll get it up to the 44. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. They put a receiver in motion here left. Out of the gun, Young. Throw complete to Thielen. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. And he can't reel it in, incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. So it's second down coming up. Hey, I know nobody's perfect, and all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Motion in one of the tight ends. On second and 10, Young. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Hey, Mr. Quarterback, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. Thinking interception to be had. And incompletion is still pretty good for the defense. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Young working from the gun. Throwing deep for the end zone. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Carolina. The Panthers can make it a one-score game as they trim the lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Well, we knew this was coming. All touchdowns are reviewed, especially late in a close game like this previous play is under review. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again, unlike these officials who got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. No change to the call on the field, so that play is going to remain a touchdown. Now a point after to bring it back within one score. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff's going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. And he just sends it over the end zone. No threat of a return at all, but now they're going to spot the ball at the 30 to begin the drive. The Commanders ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember, uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. First and 10 now from the 30. 
Daniels from the pistol. Has a man. It's Brown. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. I think when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. That's complete McLaurin along the sideline. And a solid gain gets them across the 45 before he goes out. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Hand off now to Eckler. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he's out of bounds, just short of the 30. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. That's really good instinct by the eyes up in the sky. The play caller seeing space on the perimeter, a well-timed screen, and a positive gain out of it. They've got first down from the 31. From the gun, it's Daniels. It's taken in by Eckler. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Back to the line they go. It's second down. On the give. Here's Eckler. Escapes a defender. Flashing some serious skill there. And he's going to take it in for the Washington touchdown. The Commanders have a commanding 14-point lead now in the fourth. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. This was a clear passing down, Brock, and the run surprised all of us, and there it goes for a touchdown. That's well said. Rewarded for going against the grain. Common sense analytics tell you throw it, but the surprise paid dividends. York now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick this one away. Return starts at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Panthers get going again once more on offense. And we've seen some matching touchdowns as of late, so the scoring come in at a good clip, Brock. Let's see if they can keep this up. You know what's fun, Kate? After all of these years, I have friends that are offensive guys, friends that are defensive guys. <laughs> and my friends watching this one offensively love it. The defensive guys, they're climbing up their walls. To the air on first down, Young. Able to get it to Moore. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Here's second and two. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. 
Gus, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Here's second and five. That one's incomplete, couldn't connect. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They send the tight end in motion left. Young to throw here on third. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Working quickly here. Here's Young on first and 10. Connects with Johnson. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. You know, with some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, have put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. Offense up to the line fast. Sticking to the air, it's Young. Catch made. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Carolina. The Panthers can make it a one-score game as they trim the lead. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Extra point try coming. This would importantly make it a one-score game. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. that lead cut down to eight after that score and the kick is away this one's fielded at the four yard line he stopped on the return at the 27 the home teams back out on offense they're running back headed out once again and they have leaned on him to get this offense to the end zone in the game and he's delivered he's hit pater three times part of a really nice game for him so far brock been returning good value on the looks that he's been getting They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start the drive with Eckler. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We 
We've hit the two-minute warning here in DC. Commanders leading by eight. All right, here we go, second down. Running with Eckler again. Breaks the tackle, still going. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time, 155 to go. One yard to go. Staying with Eckler. Takes out a one stop. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now Eckler. And he's able to get this down to the 36. The defense takes its third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And he's going to take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. Trying the inside hand off to Eckler. And it's a nice gain off a really good effort there just to stay upright. Even five on that play. Now it's going to be third down and six. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. And they'll take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Fourth down now. Another kneel would stop the clock and turn it over. Let's see what they do here. So score this as a win for the Commanders. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kay, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one possession game that's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.